A reminder okay. to all crew members. After there this one, we're going to break a little bit. <laughs> There's only one toilet on the ship. The Hope. Oh, the Hope. It's got the things. Kept secret, but not forgotten. I don't know what that's a play on, except the best kept secrets. Something. Something, something. George Bushism, fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Fool me once. Can't fool me again. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. What the hell's this saying? Some things are the best kept secret. The best kept secret. There's something or another. There's like a... What do you call it? A colloquialism? Anyway, uh, you'll have to reconnect me to Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. What's going to happen if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. The, we've definitely Before chosen our ending already, I believe, with what happened on business, uh, the the absolute crusade that occurred on Byzantium. But this should be the good ending. I heard, I hear, there's a really good ending that happens if you play a character that's dumb as. The Hope is the Crownbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and Thumbs got lost a bag of for rocks. seven years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. <laughs> what was I doing again? Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Gotcha. Route power from this ship to that ship, then rewire the central computer so that you can take that power from this ship to do the massive skip in system so that we can then unthaw the colonists because we figured out how to do that with the gas. Gas that we stole from that laboratory on Byzantium, I believe, that was keeping those other people alive, but we sacrificed a few for the many. Again, one of the harder decisions in this game. And we've got some rapid on me to end it all out because I think this is probably I keep Ellie and I keep Felix because they help us with damage and our lockpick and hack can be changed with our armor. So we're good on that end. So I think they're going to do at least one more DLC because you could buy the peril on Gorgon. It's $14 and they get the expansion pass. It's 20 bucks. So I assume there's going to be at least one more. The only thing that I find really strange is that you can't do uh, the DLC once you beat the game. And what I would really prefer is, hey, we did the bad playthrough on PC. And so when we get to that, and when I get some more money in the old coffer, I buy the expansion pass here. What? What was that? Not right now. But, you know, what we can. And do the, uh, oh, this is... What the hell are they? Oh. Swinging a miss. What are these guys doing here? I'm getting hit with in ray damage. These guys are not only here, they're ready for war. And we did not remotely follow our build, which is supposed to be crouch down and snipe. We put so many points into that just to not do it at what has got to be some of the last fighting we'll probably get to do. What are these guys doing here? Patch, uh, rod auxiliary power, auxiliary power, yes, rod it. <clears throat> power status. Microwave short circuit after some idiot left its fork on a plate. Macrowave, oh, macrowave. Weird. What would be the difference? I don't understand. Isn't that an oven? Isn't an oven basically a macrowave? Just takes fucking convention. Convection, I mean. 
Uh, bush systems all day. Ener engines, power regulators, cooling systems overdue. Let's hope we don't have to run in a hurry. This thing gonna blow. This is gonna become a Tom Cruise thing. Microwaves are smaller than macrowaves. Right, but like, the point of a microwave is it's literally a microwave. It vibrates the particles in food. And then that creates heat energy, and so they get, you know, heated, and yeah, you don't need me to explain the science of a microwave. I know you already understand it, but... Microwave, because it literally is a microwave, so what the hell would a microwave be? It may be an engine, cause, you know, a, a, a literally an oven because of the... Literally, it's 2018 again. Heat waves, sci-fi logic, me. <laughs> Uh, warning on unauthorized access. You did get in the quotes, right, Jeremiah? I think I got you in there for that 6969 thing. Yes. Good. Let me sync that up real quick. Unauthorized access will result in immediate termination. Good. But, darling, I've just had a frightening epiphany. What's wrong? I've just realized that we'll be nearing our 50s when we arrive at Halcyon. Yes, but our Lucas, when they wake him up, he'll be six. By the time he's out of schooling, he'll be nearly 60. I feel as though time is being stolen from me. I'll work on the ship when he graduates. We'll see him again. I hope so. These people sacrificed a lot to get here, and it was all ruined. All their sacrifices were in vain from endemic corruption. There it is. There it is. 69-69. Only the best. Only the best. Hold F. You gotta help me. Alexi, I'm going to go mental. Volkov A, what's the problem? It's the food. Are rations? Are you having digestion issues? No, no. I just hate Boris, doctor. I hate it. I can't spend the next 10 years eating it. I thought you had an actual medical problem, Frank. I do. It's disgusting. Get back to your post. You're wasting my time. Come on. It's got to be something you can describe. You'll get used to it or you'll starve. Up to you. Hard times are here again. Steal from whom? Nobody operates this ship. There's nobody in control of this damn thing. The AI, maybe. But it, a computer can't own things. Oh shit, damn it. I forgot we were disguised. Uh, yeah. Too bad about this being the level cap and all. That didn't do shit. I need to tinker this thing up. Don't worry, Ellie and Felix will be fine. They'll be fine. See, they're okay. How is Felix alive? How'd you do it, Boyle? Oh, game, you leave us alone. We're busy. Oh, that's nothing. Now, I'll go down to 17,000 bits. Oh, by which I mean 9,000 bits because I'll just keep pressing the button. Even though it didn't really help the DPS very much. You guys all screaming acid burning and shooting in the next room? Nah, this must be fine. Must, yeah, it's dead for me, Char. No biggie. It's just Ted. Hey, does this restart this thing? No, it's already the episode said that. We decided we were gonna fight our way through this. Shoot first and ask questions later. Know what I'm saying? Wow, that healed us for nothing. What? Wow, there was a good reason to sneak through this apparently. These things are seriously tanky. They're not applying a status effect, but I feel like what's happening is our art, they're cutting through our armor. I had to guess. That's what I would assume is happening.
Ellie's back. How did you? Oh, she's disguised. Felix going to take a little more time, apparently. This is the thing that feels the most out of date. You have to do a button prompt to climb. Any other modern game would just let you slide, double jump, drift up here. At the very least, you could walk up to the ladder and climb up. It's not that awkward, but it definitely just feels like it's from a totally different time. Probably should not be stealing quite as much. Or, because of weight. What? Am I still on fucking withdrawal? No? I guess we have to do the armor thing to get this. That's fine. That's why we have this stuff on us. We'll just take it all. Hey! I'm wor hey, I'm working here! Well, that's too bad. Probably kill first, and, you know, then I guess we can loot. Then I guess we can loot. It happens. Oh, we're not that far back. We're just not healing for all that much. Even with, we have a really high medicine skill. I'm just gonna put on that natural health regen. We don't have very much of it, but. I think fizzy still counts as drug addiction. Now I'm going to start another 20 minute rant on why alcohol should count as the same thing. It ain't stealing if no one sees. I like the way Ellie thinks. It's not stealing if no one sees. So we're gonna get to see the end of this. We should probably make a save that just sits there before the last quest so that if we do do DLC. Look, Captain, this is what I'm talking about. We're slowing down. <clears throat> Rezzy, pretend for a second that when I look at your screen, all I see is an unintelligible math. Okay, okay, see this line? That's us. This one, that's where we should be. This one, that's where we're going. We're off course, and I think it's because we're... What the hell was that? I don't... Will, what's going on down there, Frank? That's seen the same damn thing. The engines just race. Who hit the brakes? They were attacked, but they were attacked by who? Because were the two ships, and one got there first? <sighs> Go ahead, Frank. Right. Assuming you know the ship dropped out fast. Didn't they talk about this? I thought that the guy who's supposed to be the Earth Board Directorate talked about what they had done. Ship dropped out of faster than light travel. We got to spin up the ship. <clears throat> we got to spin up the skip drive again. Why are we talking instead of doing? It ain't that simple, you haul headed Frank, sorry. I could just hit a button and skip us back to speed I would, but now it's got to plot on your course. Yes, dropping to satellite speeds means we're quite a ways off course. The navigational computer will be helpful, but it'll... T Who hit them, though? But it'll take... Well, because obviously this didn't even happen in this system. They were just knocked out of uh, faster than light travel. Is this do the alien somehow tie back in? I have to get it this right. Any errors, and we can fly through a planet or a star. Plus, we'll need to count up the fuel reserves. If we try to skip with that energy, we'll need well. <clears throat> well, shit, I'm not sure. I think we just explode. I'd rather not explode. What if we don't have enough fuel? Then we fly slow. And how long will this take? I don't know yet. I need to run the numbers, but um, we'll deal with that problem when it comes. For now, Frank, see to the fuel. Resi, assume we can get us back to skip space and plot a course. Let's go. So it wasn't just the Earth Directorate that ruined this. It was mostly a convenience thing. 
system alert. Sweeping. So we've basically done this game in three parts, so it's like we get a new interpretation of how this story worked every time we play it. One thing I can say confidently, though, is uh, we were definitely supposed to sneak through this. These robots are pretty freaking tough. They can stop with the skies. That's that shit's over with. Get up there. Answer is no. This door doesn't open. Another thing for the sequel is less like GTA San Andreas style. There's lots of doors, but the, you can't open them or go in the buildings. We have so many key cards now. Where are we going? Can we get up here? Oh. I took restricted access a little too literally. Status. 10,000. Nearly 10,000 people there. Now, was it... We were part of the Hope, I believe. We were the one that was... The Frosted from the Hope. Cornelius. Unknown. Oh, yeah, that's us. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep them from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Oh. Can't think of much worse than drooling on your pillow in front of a bunch of strangers. So it wasn't the board that hurt them, but they didn't help them either. Is that what basically occurred? Or did they knock them out of faster than light travel? Should Holy shit. Buy a shotgun. Down they go. That thing was loaded up with stuff. Is this the DLC? It is not Mouth Rock. Also, it was really nice and bought us the DLC, but it's a PC code, so we're gonna have to wait till we're playing this on PC. Or I can buy the pass. What the hell happened to buy one's play anywhere? That should still be a freaking thing. Money, I guess. Money, 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 money. What was a good deal for consumers? Thanks a lot for being here, Meltroff. Appreciate you, man. Thanks a lot. Popping in to say hi. Thank you. Elevator, that's interesting. We have multiple. Am I still wearing my lockpick stuff? Yeah, I'm still wearing the freaking lockpick stuff. That's an issue. Should be cut right through that thing. Uh, how's your other piece coming along? Really good. I honestly think um, two weeks. In two weeks, I think we'll have it done. I'm working with my brother, so that's why it's not just hey, get all the stuff and build it in a day. 
He's building his own PC at the same time, so it's still a sl you know like slow, steady process. It'll probably take me another week after that to like get audio and shit routed and figure out how the hell I'm gonna do it. So yeah, this year, this year is what I can tell you. <laughs> I really believe that. <sighs> Thanks again for being here. Dear diary, everyone is running around trying to figure out how we're going to eat, but none of it means anything if I can't keep us on course. It's hell. Charting 26 years of travel through spaces. I don't know if I can handle it. So much pressure, so many lives. So they went the slow way here. And this also explains why they're outside of the system. If I get one thing wrong, one smudge decimal point, one off by one miscalculation, we could crash into an asteroid. Keep thinking of the colonists. They just never wake up. Lucky them. I've called you earlier because the numbers on our rations are off. Off? What do you mean off? We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing, darling. Not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. They must have stashed it somewhere. So? Someone could have brought some from Earth. They did. We need to include it in our rationing, Frank. Every bit of food on this ship is to be split among us all. It's theirs. It isn't yours to take. This isn't about ownership. This is about survival. We're going to run out eventually, and the longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this shit out. Alright, alright. I want everyone to interrogate their crew. Find out whoever's not eating their share and bring them forward. Problems on the hope. Hope was not a very hopeful voyage. Like an M-rated Gilligan's Island set in the year 5000 AD. We were going to have to kill this shit eventually anyway. The disguise was going to fail on our way back. Begin audio log. Is this thing working? I said begin audio, damn it. This, uh, this is P. Wells. Oh, Phineas. Yes, let's go with that. We're continuous. Let's go with that. We're continuous on test subject 112. Retrieve from hibernation bay 8. Time of extraction all. Oh, I'll say two and a half hours ago. Time of death six minutes prior. Explosive cell death. Cell death. My arch nemesis. Haunting my every attempt at reviving our frozen colonists. Making a mockery of my procedures. I've tried every combination of every chemical available to me. Attempted every variation of every possible thawing procedure. A gradual mail to thaw flash. Flash thaw. Extremities first, brain first. Don't know how much more of this I can take. Four hours of sleep in the last 72. Can still hear their screaming in my nightmares. Test subject 112. Real name, Harley Stan, age 39. Enjoyed singing. I'm sorry, Harley. I couldn't save you. Venus is not at least not a total psychopath. Begin audio log as soon as I say the words begin audio log. What a ridiculously inconvenient program. What happens if I just accidentally say the phrase audio log? Don't know why I'm talking to a frozen colonist. You're losing it, Phineas. Focus, focus. Come on, make this... A Incision. There we go. Excellent. Well, 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 my frigid friend. You disobeyed the moratorium on ingesting food 36 hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? Like the law for disposable gloves. Steady now, steady. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Damn slippery scalpel. What makes these? Who makes these anyway? Space was choice. I've got no choice. I'm going in. Oh, we didn't do the actual thing we were supposed to do. Route communications through the unreliable. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? <laughs> you've located the stasis chamber. Nice. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long, Captain? The missing one, I take it? Put this elevator. Everybody needs a monocle. That's at least ten inches thick. Oh, so this guy's working now? So who Please are these people? The who are guarding this? No. That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. Uh, this is Hunters. Alas! A mocha, I've failed. The tomatoes die on their stalks. Something must be wrong with the soil. We have a month of rations. The crew talks of cannibalism. My Wilhelm fights to bolster off their wilting spirits and to bar the way from those too far gone. At nights while my stomach grumbles, I fear I, too, might stray toward the dark path. But I think of our Lucas, asleep in this pod, and then I think of all those other sons and daughters and mothers and fathers. If I woke up in Halcyon and my family had been devoured by this ghoulish men, 
I will steal my resolve. I will resist. Physical effects of starvation are well documented, but we never learned about the toll that they take on your mind. The things you hold true become walls between hunger and satisfaction. Differences between right and wrong blurs. I told Frank we'd have to eat about a third of the colonists in order to survive our journey. And we still had rations. Oh, Jesus. Wow. That seemed impossibly unjust. Yes. Tens of thousands of innocent people to save 24. Now I'm not so sure. Wow. Things did get extremely dark here on the Hope. This is going to be easier just to kill these guys. I'm going to take a look. It's our way to. It's still not very high. We're grabbing all kinds of dumb stuff. Mama Wilhelm Lucas, forgive me. Frank offered me a tiny piece. It tasted like. It doesn't matter what it tasted like. It was delicious. I loved it. Let it be known that I broke the log to my personal quarters. Not Wilhelm. Wilhelm, I'll die in here, and that is my choice. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Once we switch that thing on, we can get out of here, right? This is like some Event Horizon shit. It'd be a lot more darker if there wasn't corporate guards. I don't know why they would be here. What would be the point? Like, who would they assume would come here? Putting people on staff and in a, basically a derelict seed ship? Unless they just got here in preparation for the fact that we murdered the hell out of the board on Byzantium. When we get to the last quest, I'll try to get a save that's like right at the last moment so that if you can't do DLC once you've beat the game, we can load that up. Is this that's can't be Terra too because we haven't made the jump yet. Let's wake the computer up. Wake me when you need me. View bridge status, view archive logs. Let's view the logs first. Open the fucking door, Will. No, you're killing us. Better you than the colonists. This is idiotic. If we don't keep the ship afloat, you'll, you'll die anyway. A necessary risk. Rizzo is plotting our course. The ship will fly true. You're gambling with hundreds of thousands of people's lives. You're handpicking which you, you'll consume in your madness. Damn it, Alexi. Find me a fucking drill. Oh, damn. Wilhelm sacrificed himself for the colonists. Captain, you hear that? Hear what? The drill stopped. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe it broke. Maybe they're trying to get into storage. If they get through before they starve, that'll last us. Keep working, Rezzy. I'll take care of it. There was two of them. Power statics auxiliary, so everything's going through the unreliable. Batch A to throw. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. <laughs> Wait, before I do this, tell me, Ada, am I really doing the right thing? Yeah, you're doing the right thing. I'm not going to sit here and... S I'll ask her, though, just to see what she says. Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm. 
My consolation executables could use some beefing up. <laughs> Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. <laughs> I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Okay, I'm ready to skip the hope. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? We're all gonna die anyway. That's why the decision's not that difficult, because... They're already- they're damned if they do, damned if they don't. This is basically their last chance. You're, they're gonna die with the- They're gonna die. It's gonna- you're just gonna prolong the inevitable. That's all you're doing by leaving the board in charge. That's it. From the way I've come to understand it. There was virtually no benefit Like that. The more you know is now much cheaper. Skip it. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination <laughs> to the rings of Terra 2. I'm skipping it myself. I wouldn't advise that, Captain. Worst ways to go out, I suppose. It's nice knowing you, boss. Admitting a deficit? My, you never cease to amaze me, Captain. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA. While we're Does on it. Does Captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a <laughs> derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will the die. The humans will die regardless. Thank That's you, the thing with this game. It looks like all systems are go. It Captain, should. Would it would be a much harder decision now. if they gave the board just a little more logic. If it may, if the board could actually say. We can keep this thing afloat. It's going to be hard. But, you know, we'll make reforms or something. Just, I don't know. Some, uh, the only time that it's been like the board makes sense <clears throat> was when Vicar would be like, they, they're a force of stability across the colony. They have, they put the infrastructure in place. They are the government. And you want to have some government in place. But they don't really run with that much. It just becomes, yeah, they're super corrupt and they're willing to sacrifice as many people as it takes to just live out this existence a little while longer. Oh, it worked. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Let's hear it. Let's do it again. <laughs> Stop. Drop. We did it! Why is there not a science weapon here? I'm just gonna kill these guys. We're already enemies with the board. First time I've seen maple syrup. What was that? I'd better take a look. Oh, ah! We have so many bridge pass keys. It almost looks like it would open. Oh, this is where they tried to drill in, I think. So nothing more to this area. It's very small up here. I guess that makes sense. It's the bridge. What did that do?
Did something else open, maybe? I feel like we didn't get the full story up here. I mean, they started starving, and I mean... <clears throat> if we did it, still, we got enough. It's a, it's a it's kind of a cool hidden story that... The way that they were going to have to survive to fly this in required eating... You know, a few thousand colonists as cannibals just to get this thing to the... Uh, Halcyon system. Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess it was a part of the elevator? Maybe? Let's finish this quest all the way up and then... I go eat some dinner and we'll keep going. I think we definitely have the vanilla game beat tonight. So I believe there's only one more main story mission. As I say, what I'll do is I'll try to put a save right, like, before the final couple actions in the main yeah. story mission. So, if we can't do the DLC... Yeah, when we beat the game, we can at least load up a save. Still do it. Hey, another room. Hey, more locks. Reds, yeah, bored. Up for a rent of torts? Yeah, but I've got bridge duty. Come on, buzz me in. Sure, don't cheat this time. Listen, it's not cheating if you don't get caught. I'm expecting the deck all the same. Okay, you know what? I'll find Alexia and play with him instead. Oh, oh my fuck. Shh. Sorry, it's hard to be quiet. Well, I'll try. If we get picked up at the computer, we're on record forever. Oh, Terega and Volkov. I've got someone waiting for me in the pods, Alexi. This is a one-trip thing. Ah, uh, there was a tryst in the midst of all the doom and gloom. There was still I love. And was there a child made? Where's our. Is this where our savior was born? You gotta teach me that. Oh, baby. You wouldn't believe the things I can do with these fingers and hands. So there were some more things to explore. Real flick. Ellie, I want you in real life. I want someone to just compliment me and pat me on the shoulder at all times. Please. And that was that. Still. Die, uh, Sprat. Oh, level 30, Sprat. Damn. That's right. I can easily kill rats. <clears throat> and eat their brains for knowledge. I feel like there should be a science weapon on the... Oh. This entire colony ship, and there's just some robots and some guards. Guards that I still feel like don't make a whole lot of sense. But it is a video game, so... Stop making sense. Probably should save too. Okay, let us continue. How did we get over here? Looks like the bridge down there, what? But it's blocked off! Hey, we never went in here. There was really nothing in there. We read that terminal. Our build is the sneak, so we continually just run in with an assault rifle. The strats.
customizable and modifiable. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from oh, Captain. Captain, my I Captain. Now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Good. Thank the law you warned me. I was able to get the some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can him. stop them. We're if right they behind capture him. me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you he need to remember. He gets cut off in three, two. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me. I'll never. Oh. It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. How can I be of assistance? Ilphenius, we want the best of both worlds. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. <laughs> it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Cool. 